Dzień dobry Państwu. Muszę sobie tylko przećwiczyć. Okay. Um, I'll switch to English as well um, because of the nature of this conference. Um, I'm uh, from the very general uh, uh, topic of what is the mysterious sea and what is copyright in, in general. I'm going to be talking about something very specific. Um, I'm going to be talking about an aspect of copyright protection in the images industry, and uh, that aspect is, is metadata. So just to, just to start us off, um, perhaps a quick word about what metadata is. Metadata is the, um, the information that is attached to an image in a, either a separate file or a file embedded into the image uh, that can contain all sorts of details. Uh, most importantly, it can contain uh, the, the name of the author, the name of the photographer, but it can also contain uh, details relating to the uh, technical aspects of the particular photograph. It can contain um, keywords such as uh, who is in the photograph or where was the photograph taken. Um, and that, Im that, that information obviously is very uh, important from the copyright protection point of view because it, gi it gives us the, the key information about, about the author. Um, however, as, uh, as I'm sure you all know, and um, in, in kind of in your daily lives, you upload and download hundreds of photographs. Um, I would like to do a poll of hands um, to see if anybody actually cares about metadata, if anybody has ever dealt with metadata, um, embedded their own metadata into images uploaded to Facebook. So could people who have done that, any of those things, raise their hands? Oh, excellent. Uh, well, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that there are some, there are some people who care about metadata. Now, uh, metadata is not the most um, easy um, piece to, to spot because um, when we upload images onto Facebook, say, or, or download images from the internet, it is not immediately visible. You actually need a, a, a different software to be able to modify uh, or to input that data. Um, into the images. So, f from the point of an everyday user, from um, uh, from the point of a, a consumer, I suppose metadata is is not that important at all. It, it it doesn't need to enter your your world of consciousness. However, from the point of a photographer and, and point of a creator whose livelihood depends on that particular shot and how well it sells, uh, obviously it is key because the photographer has to be able to trace the, to, to trace its image through the internet or um, through any medium in which the image is distributed. So, um, so this is uh, just uh, to give you an example. Obviously these uh, memory cards can contain all sorts of pictures. Um, they can contain a, a, a va very, very valuable uh, images, either of, of high artistic value, say artistic portraiture, or uh, valuable breaking news images, or uh, perhaps if you're into celebrity gossip, they can contain some embarrassing celebrity snaps somewhere. Um, Equally, they can contain completely worthless um, holiday snaps. I mean, mine would certainly be, be worthless. So um, how you know uh, what the image is and how you know how much it uh, can sell for, I guess, to be bl bland about it, it uh, depends on the metadata, depends on the information that you put into the image. Um, and so, Exactly, this image could, could for example, be um, just a, a house down the road or, um, or say, the, a holiday location for uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie where they've just had an argument over the next Vietnamese child they're going to adopt. Um, and in the latter case, whoever gets hold of that photograph can, can sell it for, uh, for many thousands of dollars, I can assure you. Um, so, um, so I guess if we accept the premise that, as a, if 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 we look at 
images from the point of a creator, we care about the authorship information and we, we care about uh, being able to find the image on, uh, on the net easily, then um, some authorship information, the way in, in which it can be embedded in the photograph is important and that's why uh, metadata is important. Um, the, uh, the idea is that metadata will travel with the image through the distribution chain. So from the photographer's camera that would usually have software embedded to uh, allowing to input some metadata onto an, um, a photo agency perhaps that will distribute the images further, onto the licensee, say a newspaper, onto the, um, the blog, the, any other platform that the image may be used on, uh, the author should get a, a percentage of, of the value that is being extracted from the, from the image. The problem is that um, the metadata either doesn't get embedded in the first place or it gets stripped in the, in the distribution process. And the organizations that you can see um, on the slide, not all of them, I'll, I'll single out the better ones, uh, but the organizations um, that we deal with in everyday lives usually strip the metadata. So uh, whatever images you've uploaded to Twitter or whatever images you've uploaded to Facebook, even if they did have metadata, the, the metadata is completely lost. It is stripped on the, at the point of the upload. So again, you know, if you happen to be in a key location and happen to take this, uh, this multi-million worth image and somebody takes it off your, off your uh, Facebook page um, and uses it, they simply won't know, even if they will look for the authorship information, they simply won't know that you are entitled to payment for, for, for that information. Now, I've put... Uh, Dropbox and Google Plus here as examples of uh, of companies who actually preserve metadata in um, in their search engines. So um, well done to them. Now um, the Facebook, Twitter, um, Flickr, and and other companies that strip metadata quote a very simple reason for for doing that. As I said at the beginning, metadata is a separate file attached to images, so therefore it increases the size of the image, and therefore it takes it that much longer for the image to upload or to be processed. Um, and we don't want that. We don't like that. We want instant access to whatever we want to see, um, and so... Um, Facebook routinely says that they simply, um, they simply want to look after the customer's experience and make things available quickly, so they have to strip metadata. And so the question is, is, is metadata a sustainable model? Um, is there any other technology that should be replacing the kind of the authorship inscription in the, in the image? Um, um, are, is, is metadata the equivalent of a name being scratched on the, on the wall in a cave, you know, thousands of years ago? Maybe we should be doing things differently. Um, there are various options out there, and I will say up front that I actually don't have the answer to the question whether metadata is a sustainable model or not. I just want to throw the questions out there to hopefully stimulate discussions about it about this. Um, uh, the, the UK is experimenting with image recognition technology at the moment. This is a technology that allows you, that basically matches um, the digital sequence in the pixels in, in an image with the same digital sequence um, and anywhere else um, on the internet. So it is able to match identical pictures wherever they are copied, on whichever websites they are copied. So that's a very handy way of locating your images if, if you want to. I mean, Google Image Search uses that technology. There are several others technologies out there. 
um, the UK is building um, something called the Copyright Hub, which is meant to be this platform for easy and quick licensing of various copyright works, musical works, uh, video, uh, and as well as images. And it proposes to use the image recognition technology. The, the problem with the image uh, recognition is that it will find the image, but if the image doesn't have the information about who the author is, you still, you're still none the wiser. You still don't know who to go to to license the image. So it's very useful for searching for your own images, but not if you want to find an image and find the author. Um, another option is just to slap your name right across the image, um, and um, that way the whole world will know who the image belongs to. Um, the problem with that is, of course, that the uh, that the um, the logo can be easily cropped out, or 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 simply the image can be manipulated uh, so that uh, so that the logo is not visible anymore. Um, and finally, and perhaps controversially, of course, m maybe it is uh, it is time to think about registering. Um, registering images, creating databases of images. Uh, so um, maybe as a society we, we should recognize that there is such abundance of content that not all content is of the same value and not, uh, not every content creator wants to make money out of their content, that those who do will go to voluntary or compulsory registries and, and register their works. Now. Um, that's, as I said, a question that I'm putting out there because obviously this question goes against the very fundamental principles of, of, the, of the copyright system as we know it, in which copyright exists without the need for registration, but perhaps the digital world has changed um, copyright and, and so the law should, should catch up with it. Um, so I'm going to leave you with these questions and um, I'll be happy to discuss them with you in more detail after this talk. Thank you.